there is no end goal to self growth. There is no like destination or this point that you re that you reach in your life where you're like, I'm good. I don't have to grow anymore. I don't have anything else to work on anymore. Like there isn't a point in your life that you can reach and just be done growing in life. And if you are thinking that way, like you feel like you've reached that point where you don't have any more room to grow, then that's your ego talking. That's not you talking. That's your ego talking. Because there's always more room to grow. There's always more room to improve yourself as an individual, as a man, as a woman, as a father, as a mother, as a friend, as a sibling. Like there's always more room to grow in all aspects of your life. And I'm sure you may have people in your life that have that mentality of like, what are you doing? Like, what are you, why are you doing all that? Why are you meditating? Why are you reading? Why are you sitting with yourself? Like, I've had moments plenty of times where I'm sitting outside meditating and my mom come in my room after I'm done meditating and, and, ask, and like asking me like, are you okay? Like, do I need to be worried? Do I need to call the hospital like and I'm like nah I'm good like <laughs> like she literally asking me am I okay as if something is wrong with me for meditating and that's just like a prime example of you know like she doesn't understand they don't understand you know that self growth journey that personal development journey and that's okay like there's nothing wrong with that I love my mom with everything in me I love my family with everything in me but on your growth journey on that self-development journey like those are the kind of people you have to stay away from because throughout that process of you growing and working on yourself and doing things that other people wouldn't do like those people are going to look at you as weird they're going to look at you as crazy they're going to look at you as if you're doing something wrong because that's outside of the norm for them that's outside of the matrix for them and there's no judgment in that. There's no taking it personal. Like, you can't take that personal because they just don't understand. They just don't know. And when they're ready, when they do get on their own internal personal development, like, soul-seeking journey, then they'll look back on it like, damn, that made sense. That's why he was doing that. That's why she was doing that. So you just got to try your best to be patient with them. And that's hard as hell, but you have to try but back to the video to kind of focus on this video i just wanted to talk about like what i think is the most important thing when it comes to like being on a spiritual journey being on a personal development or self-improvement journey like i think the key to continuing to improve yourself is alignment within yourself alignment within your mind body and soul and a lot of our like, you know, stresses, a lot of our problems, a lot of our the anxieties and the depression and the overthinking, the like bad decisions, like a lot of those things are due to misalignment within. It's due to unalignment within our mind, body and soul. And what I mean by disalignment, like what I mean by uh, like not aligned within, it's like your mind may be thinking this way but your body may be moving with this type of energy and then your soul is moving with this type of aura like your body may be wanting to go watch porn or go play video games but then your mind is like no nah, i want to go test this girl i want to go hang out with my friends but then your soul is like i want to sit here and meditate i want to sit here and breathe i want to sit here and relax so like your yourself as a being as an individual is like all over the place and your mind body and soul are not aligned within each other so if your whole inner being is all over the place how can you really be happy how can you really be at peace in life how can you really like you know enjoy life if you're not aligned within yourself because you got to look at each of those things as their own individual person like your mind is his own person your body is his own person and then your spirit your soul that's his own identity so when these three things are living in the same household within yourself so these three things your mind body and soul are all living in the same house it's like 
how can you not expect there to be negativity within yourself if neither one of these things are communicating with one another, if they're not understanding one another? And that's a realization I had to come to to myself. Like, my mind was thinking this way, my body was moving this way, but I had that gut feeling, that soul feeling that's pushing me to do this thing and it's like I'm just all over the place like one day I'm listening to my mind one day I'm following my body one day I'm listening to my soul then I'll feel good like that my soul is making me do this so then I'll try to get my body to follow that but then my mind's like no like you just kind of all over the place so it's like you got to find a way to align your mind your body and your soul like stack them on top of each other in full alignment on one another and then live life and then try to experience life and then go on about your everyday life because that's the only way to truly be present in life that's the only way to truly experience life the way life is meant to be experienced is when you're aligned within yourself and that's a i'm i know i'm saying it like it's excuse me i know i'm saying it like it's an easy thing to do like you can just like, damn, I keep feeling like I got a burp. <laughs> but I know it's, like I'm saying, like it's an easy thing to do. Like tomorrow you can just wake up and align your mind, body, and soul. Like, nah, it's not that easy at all. Like, it's going to take constant work on yourself. It's going to take constant, like, days and hours of you just doing whatever you can to quiet your mind. Then do whatever you can to, like, kind of go through the emotions that your body normally feels and then also like really hearing that inner voice really feeling your soul really feeling your inner being and what that inner being and the intuition is trying to tell you and you can't ever hear that inner being or understand what your soul what you are trying to tell you to do if your mind is clouded with thoughts if your body is clouded with negative emotions like it'll get to that point of self-awareness that you'll understand yourself inside and out and again that just starts with your mind body and soul being in alignment with one another because the mind can communicate with the body the same way the body can communicate with the mind the same way the mind can communicate with the soul the body can communicate with the soul like these things like i said are all living in the same household so it's like you got to find a way for them to understand one another for one for them to connect with one another for them to align with one another it's like you got three bad kids living in the house like if these kids don't like listen to each other be patient with one another like try to understand one another they're gonna tear the whole house down they're gonna tear your whole house down if you don't do whatever you can to get these kids to listen and understand one another be patient with one another like if you don't take the time out of your day to really mold them together to work as a team so that's pretty much like my advice when it comes to personal development man just like find alignment within yourself that's really the key to everything in my opinion in life is alignment like if you're not aligned within yourself it don't matter how well you're doing externally outside of yourself if you're not aligned within you can have all the money in the world. You can have all the hoes, all the, all the boys. Like you can have the biggest house, the fanciest car, all of this. If you're not aligned within yourself, when you're going on about your day and doing, living this luxury life, it's not gonna feel as if you thought it would feel because you're not aligned within. So, that's the key, in my opinion, to just life in general is align yourself within. Align your mind, body, and soul so that you can move throughout life in alignment. You can move throughout life and communicate with others, like communicating with others within alignment. And it'll get to a point where, like, you'll be talking to other people, and just off your conversation, you'll tell, like, damn, they're not aligned within right now. They're not conscious right now. They're not present right now. Like, you'll go around, like, a certain environment and be like, damn, like, they... Like, it's, uh, like, I don't really, it's kind of hard to explain because, like, 
I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm perfect, that I'm always present, I'm always conscious, I always make conscious decisions, I'm always in alignment. Like, nah, hell no, nah, I'm far from that. But I, w I do have my moments where I'm fully present, fully aligned within myself. My mind is quiet, my body is clear. All I can feel and hear is my soul speaking. My soul speaking to me, telling me how to move, what order to move with, where I should go, what's my next move. Like, passing thoughts to my mind, like, I'll have those moments while I'm in that like fully present and conscious mode. And when I am, it's like you kind of just see like and feel people's auras. Like you kind of just in those moments where you're fully present and conscious, like you kind of know what's right for you and what's wrong for you. You kind of know what you shouldn't be doing. You kind of know who you need to avoid, who you need to spend more time with. Like you kind of are able to make very conscious and like complete decisions in life because you're aligned. Like you don't have your mind telling you to do one thing, your body telling you another, and your soul telling you another. Like you don't have that. When you're in alignment, it's like they're all moving as a team. They're all moving in the same direction as a team. And yeah, man, that's all I'm trying to say. This video longer than expected, so I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. I'm sending you guys peace, sending love, sending blessings as always. Elevate.